Hello everybody, so this is a video about my G-Adventures trip sailing around Croatia and Montenegro. I actually flew in to Croatia into Split, which is just up the coast from Dubrovnik, so I could spend a day exploring things there. So I checked into a apartment, got dressed and then headed out in the evening. This is the main promenade of Split. It was so beautiful. I thought the palm trees and the flowers were stunning. And it was actually a night when Croatia was playing in Euro 2020. So there was a nice buzz and people were out to watch the game. So Split is actually a town built around what used to be a Roman emperor's palace, Diocletian's palace. It was his sort of retirement home, summer home. And what happened is different houses were then built in the walls of the old property. So this is underneath that used to be the sort of storage rooms of the old property. There were actually quite a few Game of Thrones episodes filmed all around here, which has kind of made this um, quite famous. The guide said that it had become much more popular with tourists since Game of Thrones. So this bell tower in the middle, this is more modern. This is a sphinx that had come from Egypt, which I thought was pretty cool. This is the entrance to Diocletian's old quarters. So you can see these houses within the walls of the old palace and the guide said that historically this had been a very poor place to live but now it's super cool, super expensive and pretty much all of the properties are rented out on Airbnb for really high prices. <laughs> The next day I got up really early and got the ferry, a catamaran ferry from Split to Dubrovnik which took I think about three hours.
So this is the ferry arriving into Dubrovnik. You can see the big suspension bridge at the entrance to Dubrovnik. And this would be my home for the next week. This was our boat and that's our skipper just getting on the boat. So we left pretty much straight away after going to the supermarket to get food. There were three other ladies and me on the boat. So we had a good cooking area, good seating area, bathrooms, two bathrooms. Then this was my cabin, I had this cozy double bed. So we sailed for a few hours to Kavat and then docked there in the marina overnight so that the skipper could get up really early in the morning, here I am, very early, uh, to leave there and go through customs to enter Montenegro. So by lunchtime we were in Montenegro and this is our first stop called Herzegnovi. This had really beautiful fortresses, pretty much every town I think along this coast was fortressed to sort of protect against the various invasions they've had over time, I think mainly the Italians. We had a beautiful dinner, lots and lots of seafood. I got lots of mussels, I love my seafood. And the prices were amazing. So this is the next day when we actually went to explore this cool little cave. Speed boat attached to it, so we could just take that out and go and explore places. We then entered this really low <laughs> entrance cave, which is quite funny. Our little boat, our little home. So for the evening we travelled into Budva and docked there for the night. We went out and had a lovely dinner, it was quite popular. Again, another sort of fortress town. After a chilled couple of days there, we then travelled down to Kotor, which is famous for having these two really cool islands in the bay. You've got one with a church on and one with a sort of administrative building on, I think really beautiful. The scenery here was amazing, it was kind of like the fjords of Norway, um, but obviously much warmer. <laughs> So 
we arrived in the afternoon docked there in Kotor. This was definitely the hottest day of the holiday. It was late 30s and incredibly humid. So we went into town to get ice cream and to locate somewhere we could sit with a fan. We actually got a driver and tour guide to take us up to the north of Montenegro to the border with Bosnia so we could go rafting. We were rafting for a few hours and it was really cool because there were these beer stops along the way where we could pull in and get a beer from the fridge which was in the river here. We also stopped off at this cool waterfall. So the day after that we left and left Montenegro and went back to Croatia and stopped off at our final return destination which was Dubrovnik. Dubrovnik was definitely the biggest town, city that we went to, it had a really nice buzz and it really did feel like you were in Game of Thrones. But that's it, so I had a super time exploring those two countries and I can't wait to do another sailing trip.